Perfect. <clears throat> right on your back. Legs inside a circle. Feet parallel, hip distance apart. Arms are by your sides, and I want your arms to be completely relaxed. If you're lucky, you'll get a nice click in your thoracic spine as you put your spine down on the hard mat. I want your feet just in line with your ischial tuberosities, your two sitting bones, and I want you to open your knees a little bit for me, not too much. Shoulders are heavy. Don't think of pulling them down to your hips or pulling them anywhere. Let them just relax. We're just going to take a really deep inhale over there on our knees, expanding the rib cage. And exhale a gentle contraction with the abdominals. Feel the waist narrow. I want you to feel your back muscles kick in and you keep the tension on the circle. And a deep inhale there, expanding the rib cage. And exhale. Gentle activation in the abdominals, waist narrows, keeping the circle. You should already feel your glutes firing up. One more, a deep inhale. And exhale, abdominals draw deep, waist narrows, and you can feel that there's activation in the back as well. Just a normal pelvic curl, but keeping the circle open slightly. So we're not breaking it yet. We're just pulling it a little bit. Inhale there. Exhale, gently tuck the pelvis through, pressing the spine down, massaging it on the mat and leading up with that pubic bone. Hold. You want to find that diagonal line. Super tuck through with the pelvis, gentle open on the circle. Inhale. Exhale, gently curving down. Every single vertebra, massaging the spine back onto the mat and controlling it to neutral. Keep a 20% effort in your abdominals. Inhale. Exhale, gently tucking the pelvis through, pressing the back down, peeling the spine up into that diagonal line. From here, I want you to float your arms all the way up above your head, onto the mat. So this is going to open your thoracic spine as you roll down. Inhale there. Exhale, curving down through the spine, lengthening the back of the neck, and that should feel like medicine for your spine. And I absolutely love it when it massages my upper back like that. Inhale. Exhale, tucking the pelvis through, keeping that circle slightly open. Peeling the spine all the way up, just fixing the spine from all that computer work. Inhale, exhale, gently curving it down, rounding the back, massaging the spine on it. Tonight. Last one, ladies. Inhale, and exhale, gently tucking the pelvis through, pressing the back down, peeling it all the way up, and hold. Inhale. And exhale, gently curving it down, super tucking the pelvis as much as you can, and then gently control it to neutral. Release the circle for a moment, reach your arms straight up to the ceiling. We're going to inhale there. Exhale, hinge and open the circle at the same time. One. And inhale, control it down, release the circle every time. And exhale, hinge and open, two, and controlling it down. So reaching the arms to the ceiling, hinge and open, three, hold it at the top. Feel that your abdominals are holding that pubic bone so that you don't go into that arch in your back. And then controlling it back down. And hinge and lifting, hold, and gently lowering it down. And hinge, open that circle. Keep it here for me. Feel that you're opening the circle, same amount with both sides, and then controlling it down. Slow and controlled, and you can feel it working like a bomb. Exhale, hinging it up, open the circle. We're gonna keep this here. Float the arms above the head onto the mat, gently pulsing open with that circle. We pull one, arms are relaxed. Two, the height of the pelvis stays. Three, open four, and five, six. 
pull seven and eight, nine, last ten, pulling one, same amount on both sides, and three, pull four and five, six, open seven and eight, nine, we're going to hold it open, inhale, Exhale, this time curve down through the spine. Every single vertebra controlling a neutral. Interlace the fingers behind the hip, please. Circle stays where it is. We're gonna inhale there. Exhale, chest lift up, opening that circle out for one. Inhale, controlling it down. Exhale, opening it up two, and you wanna make it count, so don't give it a gentle pull. I want you to really try and break the circle. And exhale up three and slowly controlling it down. And exhale, lifting, hold it here. Double check that you're at your maximum height in your chest lift. You're trying to get that tummy down as much as you can, you're narrowing your waist, and then inhale, lowering it down every time. And exhale up, draw, hold, and controlling it back, elbows, peripheral vision. And exhale, pull, hold and pause. And controlling it down. And last three, pull, hold. And gently lower. And exhale, pull, hold. And controlling it down. And last one, we keep it here. Staying as high in the chest as you can. Little pulses up for me, please. We pull. One, and two, exhale, three, and four, D five, exhale, six, seven, and eight, nine, and hold it, hold it, hold it, controlling it all the way down. Reach the arms above the head for me, heels together, knees apart and your toes apart, straight arms, inhale there, exhale, tuck the pelvis through, rolling up into that diagonal line, opening that circle, and here you're going to feel a really nice glute activation because we're doing that lateral rotation, dig the back of the heels into each other for me please, and press up a little bit higher, and that's going to really get into those glutes, inhale, exhale, curve down through the spine, keeping the arms up above the head, but they're relaxed, control to neutral. Release the circle at the bottom. Inhale. Exhale, tucking the pelvis through. Opening the knees up, rolling all the way up, trying to break that circle as you reach into that diagonal line. Inhale. Exhale, gently curving down. You feel like you're massaging the spine. You're pressing that circle open. And then we control it to neutral and release the circle. Last one, inhale. Exhale, tucking the pelvis through, pressing the back down, peeling it all the way up into that diagonal line. We hold it here. We pulse the pelvis up to the ceiling. But as you pulse it up, I want you to dig your back of the heels into each other. And I want you to open your knees every single time. We lift. One. And two heels dig in. Three and four. Open five and six. Lift and open. Seven. Super tuck. Eight. So it's not a big movement in the spine, it's rather in the pelvis. Hold it there. Inhale. Exhale, curving down through the spine. Every single vertebra and release it to neutral. Bring your arms next to your sides, nice and relaxed. Shoulders completely relaxed, keep the legs as they are. Hinging up and down, inhale. Exhale, hinge up, open the knees, dig the heels into each other, and control it down. And exhale, hinging it up, two, and gently lower. And as you hinge up, chin drops in, Three, and control down. And exhale up, 
four, open, trying to break it, maximum abduction, controlling it down. And exhale up, five, hold, and gently lower. And lifting it up, six, hold, and control down. My glutes are on fire, especially my left one. And up, seven, hold, and lower it down. And pressing up, okay, this is where people are looking at you and going, what is she doing? It doesn't look like that much work, <laughs> but you're really done. And nine, open, hold, and lower it down. And last one, ten, keeping it up, you're going to hold it there, just pulse open with the knees. We pull one, opening, two, heels digging, three. And four, pull, five, and six, open, seven, and eight, pull, nine, and hold it, hold it, inhale, exhale, gently curving down through the spine, and releasing it to neutral legs parallel. You're going to bring both legs up to 90 degrees for me, please. There you go. Hands are behind the head, elbows, peripheral vision. Inhale there. Exhale up in the chest lift, opening both legs out, making sure that your knees are in line with your ankles, and then controlling it down. Exhale up, two, opening it out, and controlling it down. And exhale up, three, most of the work is in the abductors and the abs, and controlling it down. And exhale up, four, if you're feeling back, you can push your spine down a little bit into the mat, and gently lower. And exhale up, draw deep, hold, and control down. And exhale, lift, tummy draws deep, flatten, and lower it down, and exhale up, opening it out, hold, and gently down, and exhale, lifting it up, and hold, and control it back, and exhale, pulling it up, open, and lower, last one, and exhale, bring it up, hold it there, Reach your arms in front of you for me, please. We gently pulse open with the knees. We pull one, pull two, and three, pull four, open five, and six, pull seven, and eight, nine, hold it, hold it. Lower the chest down, straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Keep the legs parallel. We pull them open. One, and release. Pull in two, and release. Open three, and release. Straight legs, pull in four, release. Open five. Release, fully extended knees, ladies. Six, plant and flex the feet, release. And seven, release. Straight knees, eight, bring those legs up for me, Monica, release. Pull nine, release. Last one, hold it there. Turn the legs out and parallel. Rotate two, parallel. Rotating three, parallel. Yeah, it's getting in there. Four, I don't know about you, but the glutes are done. And five, parallel. And six, parallel. Rotate seven from in that hip, parallel. And eight, still pulling it open, and in. Rotate nine, and back. Last one, hold it, hold it, hold it. Turn it parallel, bend the legs in, and gently place them down. 
Circle out, goes in between the knees, please. So we're going to stay down on our back to start. Arms are relaxed by your sides, feet hip distance apart. Allow the circle to open. Inhale, exhale, gently squeeze in with the circle to touch. And then slowly opening it out. And exhale, squeeze in to touch. Controlling it open. No change in the pelvis as you squeeze and touch. And gently open. And press in and hold. Control it out. And exhale, pressing it in and hold. And gently open. And last one, press in, hold it there. Little pulses in. One. Press two. And three. And four, and you can just do a body check, checking where your neck is, checking where your shoulders are. Seven and eight, nine, and hold it in for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Keeping the circle where it is, hands are behind your head. Inhale there. Exhale, chest up, up. Squeeze the knees. And inhale, lowering it down. And exhale, pressing in two. And gently lower. And pull up, squeeze three. Controlling it down. And exhale, press four. And lower. Tummy pulls you up, five. Try not to tuck the pelvis as you squeeze. And exhale, six, nice and flat, and lower. Get the knees to touch, seven, and down. And pressing eight, controlling it down. And exhale, nine, elbows, peripheral vision, and lowering it down. Maximum height of your chest, keep it there. Pulse in with the knees, up with the chest. Four and five, six up, seven, eight, nine. Bring it up and hold it, hold it. Controlling it down. Brilliant. Take the circle in your hands. The circle is above your chest for me, elbows open to the side and pulling away from you. Lift your right leg up to 90 degrees and then your left leg up to 90 degrees. Making sure that there's no shift or arch in your spine. Inhale there. Exhale, extend the right leg away. Press in with that circle to the maximum. So we're getting great abdominal control, working into those arms and bring it back in. Same leg, exhale, extend two, and controlling it in. Elbows pull away from you as you extend three, and bring it in. And extending it out, four, controlling it in. Think fully extended knees, and extending five, resisting it in. Exhale, tummy six. And back. Reaching seven. And in. Extending eight. And back. And reaching nine. And back. And last one, ten. Hold it. Keep the circle in. Lower the leg. One. And up. Two. And up. Tummy holds on. Three. It's tough. And four. And up. Exhale. And up. And lift. Seven. And up. Eight. And lift. Nine. Tummy hold. Ten. Bring it up. Bend the leg in. Place the legs down. Reach the arms up to the ceiling and above the head. Just push the pelvis up to the ceiling to release the front of the hips before we do the left side. 
Hold it here, inhale. Exhale, curve down through the spine. Every single vertebra, control it to neutral. Feet parallel, lifting one leg up. Abdominals hold on, other leg comes up to 90. Bringing the arms above the chest again. Elbows pulling away. Over to the left leg. <laughs> Inhale there. Exhale, press it in. Reach it up. One. Controlling it back. Exhale. Two. And bring. And reaching it out. Three. Control back. Extend and press. Challenge yourself, take your leg a little bit lower. And five, tummy's holding that spinal position. Bring it back. And exhale, reach six. Control. And reaching seven, hold. And bring it in. Press eight, reach. Control in. Press nine, tummy hold, and in. Elbows away, we're gonna keep this one. Hold it, inhale. Exhale, lower, one, and two, and up. Reach three, and up. Keep the arms, four, and lift, five. Lift, halfway, six, and up. Reach seven and up, lengthen the back of the neck and up nine. Lift. Last one, ten. Bring it up, bring it in. Reach the arms up, up above your head. One leg down, other leg down. Hinge that pelvis up just to release the front of the hips. Hold it here. Inhale, keep the circle on the floor above your head. Exhale, curving all the way down through the spine. And then straighten the one leg down and the other leg down on the mat, please. Good. So the circles above your head on the mat, just hold on to the abdominal slightly so you don't have a big arch in the back. Inhale into your chest, lift over there if you need to. Exhale, curving all the way up through the spine. You're going to sit up tall in your back, pull your hands in. We rotate to the one side, rotate over to the other side, bring it back to the center, reach the arms forward and curve all the way down through the spine. So it's a really nice sequence, arms straight up above the head. Inhale into the chest lift, exhale curving up, tummy draws deep, you've got a deep curve, re-stack the spine up. Bringing the elbows in, rotate and squeeze. One, rotate to the other side, squeeze. Two, hips are still. Bring it back to the center, reach the arms forward. Exhale, curve down through the spine. Every single vertebra, eyes up. Inhale into the chest lift. Exhale, curving up through the spine, deep curve. Re-stack it up, bending the elbows in. We're going to keep alternating sides as we rotate. We twist, one, and rotate, two. Exhale, squeeze, three, and rotate, four. Tall in the back, five, and exhale, six, and twist, seven. Tall in the lower back, eight. Opposite hip, hold back, nine. And last one, 10. Bring it into the center, reach the arms straight out. Bring the arms up above your head. Exhale, curve down through the spine. Keeping the arms, keeping the arms, keeping the arms. Relaxing it down. Stay here, lift your right leg up. Right foot goes inside the circle, please. Holding it with your right arm. Left arm can just relax on the floor. You're going to bend this knee slightly, the right leg. Exhale, straighten the leg up and pull it a little bit closer to you. 
and gently bending. I want you to think of not tucking your pelvis right now. So I want you to pull that ischial tuberosity back as we straighten the leg and pull origin and insertion away from each other. And gently bending it down and extending it up. Reach and bending it down and extending it up and hold. Last one, bending the knee and reaching it up. We're going to keep it here. Go a little bit onto the ball of your foot and plant to flex your foot and pull that leg closer to you so it's slightly less neural for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Thinking of maintaining neutral to the best of your ability. One, bend the leg in. You're going to place that leg all the way down. Left leg goes in. Holding it with the left hand. We extend that right leg far away, relaxing the right arm. Exhale, we're extending that left leg up to the ceiling. And gently bending in. And reaching it up to and controlling it. And fully extend three, maybe you get a couple of clicks. My left ankle always clicks, and <laughs> bringing it in. My left leg always clicks. My left hip clicks, my left ankle clicks. Reach it up, hold, and bringing it in. And the last one, you're gonna keep it there, making sure you're not flexing that foot too much. Hold it, pull it closer to you for 10, nine, eight, Straighten that bottom leg, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently release it. Keeping the circle in your hands for me, please. Arms straight up above your head, two straight legs. We're going to inhale into that chest lift, exhale curling up, rolling all the way up, re-stacking the spine up, bending your legs in, please. We're going to hinge back, slightly bent elbows, so not all the way into the chest, just over there. Hinge the torso back, so we're getting a little bit of abdominal activation, hip flexor work, a bit of quad work. Hold that, exhale, squeeze into that circle, and release. And exhale, press two, and release. The spine stays three, and release. And exhale, four, and release. And pressing, five, and release. And six, release. Press, seven, release. Tummy draws, eight, release. Deep, nine, release. Last one, ten. And release. Bring it a little bit closer to you now. Walk your feet a bit further away from you. You're going to inhale. Exhale, extend the one leg out. Rotate that leg as you squeeze. One. And place it down. Other side. Exhale, extend and rotate. Two. And placing it down. Try and maintain that knee height. Three. And lower. Extend and rotate, four, and lower. Extend and rotate, five, and down. And tummy draws deep, keeping the back, six, don't lean further back, and down. And almost seven, and lower. And rotating, eight, and down. And twist and straighten, nine, and down. And last one, ten. Bring it back to the center, straighten both legs, reach over and put the circle over your feet, please. So you're going to hold onto the circle over there and just draw your body down onto your thighs. Bend your knees a little bit to start so we can just ease ourselves into the stretch. So you're holding the circle. And then gently straighten the legs. And bending the legs. And straighten them down. And gently bend. 
and reach in the way and bend and extending them out. Release the circle, sit to face in the knees. Right, so you're going to have the circle in line with that knee. You're going to rotate towards it, both hands on top of that circle. You're going to inhale there for me, sitting up tall in your back. Exhale, press the circle down, and as you do that, I want you to curve your spine down towards the circle. Control that up. The arm that's on the side of the circle, watch that shoulder, because it wants to poke backwards. You're going to keep serratus. So you're going to feel like you're pushing that circle forward like that. Inhale. Exhale, press it down. Curve over two. Restack. And exhale, press down, curve three, controlling it up. And exhale, press and curve over four, and bring it up. And reaching both arms away as you curve over five, control it up. And exhale, curve it over six, hold, and bring it up. And exhale, pressing it down, seven, hold, and up. And exhale, down, eight, press, pause, and up. And nine, press, pause, and up. And last one, ten, you're going to hold it here for me for ten, nine. Eight, arms reaching away, six, five, four, keep the curve in the spine, two, one, and bringing it up. Before going over to the other side, bring it into the center for me, please, hands next to each other. Thinking of extension in the back, you're going to angle your circle so that it's back towards you a little bit. So don't have it straight, so I'm angling it like that. You're going to inhale there. Exhale, press into that circle, open the chest to the ceiling, and then release it. And exhale, pressing into that circle, open the chest out, and release. And exhale, shoulders are down, press and open the chest, and release. And exhale, pressing it down, lats are pressing the circle down beautifully, and release. And exhale, press chest to the ceiling, hold, and release, last two, exhale, press down, open, hold, and release, last one, straight arms as we press, hold it there for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, open, five, four, keeping it low, two, one, and release it over to the other side. Hands on top of the circle, rotating the spine, keeping the knees facing straight. Inhale there. Exhale, lats press down, curving into that spine, getting into those obliques, and then controlling it back up. And exhale, press it down two, and think of curving down through the spine. And controlling it up. And exhale, pressing it down. Three, tummy draws deep. And gently up. Thinking of that arm that's closest to the circle. And pressing down four, reaching it away. And bringing it up. And exhale, pressing it down. Five, flatten the hold as deep as you can. And up, make it count. And exhale, pressing it down as far as you can. Press, press, press. Go for it. Go for it. And bring it up. Last three. Exhale, curving in. Press down, hold. Control it up. And exhale, curve it down. Press and hold. And bring it up. Last one, and exhale, curve, press, and hold. We keep it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bringing it up. 
You're going to take your circle, place it on top of your shoulder. Position is super important. I don't want the circle back there. I want it slightly in front of you and your elbow slightly in front of you. Face sideways. Left leg is bent, please. You're holding the left leg with your left hand. So you're right up in your chest. I want you to lean your torso back just a touch. Elbow peripheral vision. Inhale there for me. So just lift up from that lower back, ladies. There we go. Exhale, we press down into the circle. Lift that leg. One. And control it down. Exhale, press and lift. Two. And gently lower. Exhale, press and lift. Three. Control down. And you want to make that bicep curl count. Four. You want to give it a good press. And release. And exhale, pressing. Six. And release. And down. Seven. And release. Straight leg back holds. Eight. And release. And lifting. Nine. Release. And last one. Ten. Hold it for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Switching over to the other leg, please. So the one leg's bent, I'll flip around, you don't have to. Over there, hinging back, holding the opposite knee. Inhale there, elbow peripheral vision. Exhale, pulling it down, lifting the leg. Control it down. And exhale, lift two. And lower. And pull it down as you lift three. And lower. And exhale, four. And down, hinging slightly back. Five. And lower. And pulling six. And down. And seven. And lower. Almost. Eight. And down. And lift. Nine. And lower. Last one. Keep the extended back for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Pulling down with the hand. Two. One, lower it down. Hectic. Legs inside the circle. Flip yourself over. Hands and knees. You can get a little pad under your knees if it irritates your knee at all. I don't mind. A nice soft pad. Right. So we've got the feet hip distance apart. You're going to curve your lower back. We're lifting out the shoulders. So I want to curve the spine, but not over curve. Just enough to make it look natural. We're going to inhale there. Exhale, hover the knees off. Open the circle nice and wide, watching the foot alignment. And then control it back down. Exhale, open and lift two. And controlling it down. Exhale, open and lift three. And slowly lower. Exhale, opening and lift four. Four. Control down. And exhale. Open and lift. Five. And lower. Keeping that deep curve as you lift. Six. And down. And tummy draws deep. Seven. And lower. Rounding that lower back. Eight. And down. And drawing it deep, lift and open, nine, and down. And last one, ten, hold that, pulse the legs open. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it, lower it down. Walk your hands a bit forward. 
and then hinge your pelvis up to the ceiling with your feet. So you're extending the back, straightening the legs, just enjoying that stretch. Fully extended, fully extended. Good, hold. Gently bend your knees and I want you to curve your spine down, please. Curve it down, curve it down. Excellent, you're gonna take the circle out, Place it between your ankle and your glute, like that, ankle and glute. Okay, so we've got it between the ankle and the glute. You're pulling the pelvis through to the best of your ability. Resting your head on your hands, you're going to put your forehead on your hands. I want you to pull the pelvis through, hover your other leg off the mat, Lift the leg that's holding the circle slightly off the mat. And this is where you want to feel that your abs are really holding in the front of that pubic bone. So you don't just collapse and sink into that lower back. So I want you all pulling through. Straight leg pulling away. Bend knee pulling away from you. You're going to inhale there for me. Exhale. Pull that foot down towards the glute. One. And release it. And pulling it in. Two. And release it. And pulling it three. And release. And pull four. Release. Into that hammy. Five. And release. And pull six. Release. And deep seven. Release. Try and keep it as parallel as you can. Eight. Release, hook it in that heel, nine, release, last one, ten, hold it, bring yourself up onto your elbows for me please, lifting out the shoulders, a little pulses, one, my elbows are open, two, hands over each other, three, and four, exhale, seven, and eight, Pull nine. Last one. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And release it completely. Excellent. Over to the other side. In between the heel and the glute. That's always the best part. To see how long somebody takes to do that. Okay. So we've got a bent leg. Hovering the other leg off the floor. Fully extended. Abdominals are holding in the front. Get the feeling of pushing the pubic bone into the floor. And then you're going to get more hip extension action happening. Bend knee off, head is down. Exhale, we pull it in. One. Release. Pull two. Release. And three. Release. Deep four. Release. Pull five. Exhale, six. Pulling the pubic bone through. And eight. Tummy draws. Nine. Keep that other leg straight and extended. Hold it. Lifting up onto the elbows. Keeping this. Little pulses. One. And two. Chest open. Three. And four. Deep five. Six. Seven. And eight, nine, and hold it, hold it, hold it, and release it. Excellent. I want you to put the circle aside, gently press up for me, and just curve that down onto your feet. Just a gentle release for your back. Shoulders completely relaxed, resting the head down. Move both arms over to the right. Lean the hips over to the left as you stretch that left side. Both arms over to the left as you lean the hips over to the right, stretching that side. Gently bringing it to the center, and I want you to slowly roll up through your spine. You can put your legs straight out in front of you, Saskia, because I know this is uncomfortable. 
So you're tall, inhale, exhale, curving down through the spine, reaching the arms forward, gently curving it back. I want you to circle your arms back, open your chest now, bringing it up to the ceiling, and then just gently drape the arms down next to your sides. Chin in, reaching it forward. Gently bringing it back up, rolling up through the spine. Reaching the arms back, think open chest, reach the arms away from you, out of their sockets. Drape the arms down. Chin in, rolling down and with a light on your back, swinging knees. Straight legs down the mat. Arms are by your sides, and I want you to really relax inside your hips. So sometimes we don't even realize that they're still holding on. So you just want your legs to flop open. You might see that the one flops open more than the other one. Don't think of opening your shoulders, pulling your shoulders down. Don't think of any of that. Let everything just drape in the head. Take a really deep inhale there, expanding the ribcage. Exhale, blow it all out. Every last little bit of air. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more. And exhale, blowing it all out. Float your arms above your head. Reach your arms and legs as far away from you as you can. And arch your back and fully extend your knees. And then allow everything to relax. And again, reach the arms and legs as far away from you as you can. And gently relax. Stay where you are. Take one last deep inhale. And blow it all out. Shh. 